when you're already on stage, there's not even enough time to play the music to go up. So, um, good evening, everyone. Um, a, everyone's going to be very pleased to know, after this evening and all the inspiring remarks that we have heard, I've tossed my remarks. Um, and I just had three points I wanted to make, and I'm going to make those three points and let us go on with the, and let us go on with the evening. The first is, and by the way, all these points have been referenced tonight anyway, but the first is the power of national service. And we've heard so many examples of this tonight. The one dimension I want to add to this is the word leverage, because I think one of the things that national service does is provide enormous leverage, pairing AmeriCorps funding with private sector funding, with state and local government funding, leverages those federal funds into a larger impact than those funds would have on their own. But there's another form of leverage, because when you have national service, you not only have the impact that those young people have in working with other young people, in working with conservation corps, the direct service impact, but you have the impact that you have on the leadership development and development of the young people serving. So there's double impact and double leverage in every element of national service. So that's point one. Point two is that Comcast, CSX Corporation, Bain, so many companies put their money, put their money where their mouth is around service. We help to provide that leverage. In Comcast's case, we do it not only with cash, but with public service announcement, announcements to promote national service. We provide teaching and mentoring for young people in City Year to teach them how to interview, how to write a resume, how to apply for jobs. And we do put our money where our mouth is. We've now invested $110 million in support of City Year and City Year's National Service. My, my last of three points, and you, you may think I'm crazy, but my last of three points is the celebration a week or two late of the Groundhog Day mo moment of the administration again zeroing out support for the Corporation for National and Community Service. So Ann Mora sort of doesn't like it when I say this, but I take that as good news because s National Service not being zeroed out. You saw this tonight, the bipartisan support. We'll just roll out Rosa DeLauro in her speech and there is no way that national service is being zeroed out. Not happening. So promise me you won't say this, but Ann Moore has heard me say this. When an administration comes in and proposes a cut of 30% in CNCS funding, then I'm going to be worried because that's harder to fight than zeroing out a program that has now gained significant, sustained, bipartisan support. But we need to support the Roy Blunts and the Rosa DeLauros. That's what all of us in this room need to devote ourselves to, to make sure that they know that when they stand up, they are going to be supported by the people in this room, by the people we represent, and by the people who live, our neighbors, and by our colleagues. And that is the ultimate value of Voices for National Service and the ultimate value of tonight. So I thank you for your commitment to Voices for National Service. Like Rosa DeLora, I hate to say this, I don't want to look backwards. Everyone's done a great job. We need to look forward starting this year and going forward in the future to sustain and to grow funding for national service. So thank you for enlisting in this cause. Have a great rest of the night.